Hello and welcome to Let's Play Portal. So I'm doing this because, well, Portal 2 came out just last week. And I'm doing this because there are a lot of people who still haven't played Portal 1. Because it's a pretty old game. Not that old, but it's pretty old. To be on one radio. They're, Hello, they're and again, game. welcome to the Aperture Science yeah, Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, Serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. <laughs> Please refrain from Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Oh my god, it's me. Where's that coming from? Oh. Okay, so yeah. I'm playing this because there's a lot of people who haven't played Portal 1 yet. And well, if they're gonna get and they really want Portal 2. So I made this just to show those people that what happens in Portal 1 and just the storyline and everything so you can understand Portal 2 better. So yeah, this is for you. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to put it on the button. Simple enough, right? Excellent. Please proceed Easy. into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material prevents a patient grip will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. Yep. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Okay, number one. Here it is. This thing's gonna tell us what dangers are gonna be in this one, which obviously none. No dangers are in this certain thing. Please place the weighted storage cube on okay, so the 1500 cool. megawatt aperture mm -hmm. science heavy duty mm -hmm. super colliding super button. It's funny, they gave the button that name, such a long name, and then they never use it again. Ever. Ah! Oh! Oh, it was stupid. Okay, so yeah, this one's for you guys. Just so you know. Because it, it really bothers me, like, when, like, the Halo Reach and stuff. It just bothers me. Perfect. When, Please move like, quickly to the Halo chamber lock, as the effects of a long it, exposure to the button like, are not part of this test. Any of the other Halo games. And so you don't even understand why it's such a huge game. And it just annoys me. So, yeah, because I played every Halo game when they came out. So yeah, so I'm doing this, just to get rid of all those ignorant people. Yeah, there's a jig here. As, as I'm pretty sure you saw it earlier, we're living, because that's just how the game is. Oh, it's a loading screen. I love loading screens. Now I have to rely on my timing with this one. So You're doing here. very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the aperture science material okay, so emancipation grip, course. which may, yeah, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Wow. She said something. Oh! I've never actually tried to get hit by that thing. I wonder what happens. Yeah! Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. Yay. With it, you can create your own portals. See, look at what's up there. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely oh. safe. <laughs> Take that. The device, however, has Stupid not. Camera. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Wow. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. So I kind Do of uh, the device may have whether or not to use a gamepad to get rid of the crosshair. Most and importantly, that under no circumstances should you move the gamepad very well. Unless you have like superior middle detection skills. But, you know, can't really aim down the side with this thing, so I'm kind of stuck with the crosshair. Sorry, might be annoying to Please you. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Wow. Oh, no. That's not what I'm supposed to do. Oh, 
We saw him still running into the portal. Oh yeah, I'm still alive. Well done. Remember, the well, artificial science work. from your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. Wow. Okay, here we are again. Let's go through. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. Aha, uh -huh. didn't set off the button. Uh-oh. Now we'll move. There we go, Okay, whoa. Yes, there's a little thing right there. Yep. Okay. See, that's fun to do. I'm pretty sure maybe we're supposed to be one second. Ah. Excellent work. Okay. As part of a required <laughs> test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your okay. own. Good luck. Get me. Okay. Rawr. Yeah. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing that. So, we're just sitting here playing Portal. It's a fun game, huh? I think I'll do this last test chamber and then stop the video. So we can get hit in the head by in this episode. So, in this test chamber. So get ready. It's gonna be intense. Boop. This is pretty cool. Look at the ceiling right there. Ah. Doop. Doop. Now, yeah, down there, I'm pretty sure. Yep. See, these, these beginning puzzles are really easy. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. <laughs> enhancing the truth. <laughs> okay, so I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Let's play Portal.